<clears throat> Alright, something's been bugging me. I've got this situation where I've got this sail that's going to have solar panels all over it. And it goes up there like this, and the wind blows it. Sounds great, right? Now, there are a few issues that have been bugging me while I've been building this thing. One is that this thing, this sail, goes the width of the boat. And that means anytime I'm going into a place where there are either posts beside a dock or into a canal with mangroves or something, I'm risking hitting the edges of this. And uh, this is going to have expensive solar panels on it that I'm not going to be able to replace. Like the only reason I I'll, I'm going to have these solar panels is because this company, Solbion, is sponsoring me and gave them, well, sold them to me at a massive discount. I'm not going to be able to replace these if they get damaged. Another thing is, I want to cover them when I'm not using them, because they're the lightweight, plastic-coated solar panels. They still last like seven years. However, if you keep them covered when you're not using them, they last significantly longer. Um, so there's, you know, there's disadvantages and advantages of the, the lightweight solar panels. I really want the lightweight ones for a vehicle, for obvious reasons. And I'm not driving the vehicle most of the time, so I can just cover them. <clears throat> now, covering this thing, it's like almost three meters across. So I'm like this tall, and I have to get something all the way across this thing. And it's sometimes windy. And if I'm like rolling something out over this, and <laughs> wind, ah. I mean, yeah, I can get the wind going this way. Okay, fine. Even then, it's going to be like, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be running. Ugh. Pain in the butt. Another thing is, I'm not going to be able to stand on the boat ever. Because this is going to be, what, like a meter and a half, four foot. I don't know. It's going to be low enough that I can't stand on the boat. Now, I will be able to tilt this, which means if I tilt it, I'll be able to stand under one side. However, I'm still going to have to be super careful about loading and unloading because you know hitting this and this is this is a work you know this thing is just giant and cumbersome and I I'm gonna be so nervous about flipping this huge sail up that has all these solar panels on it for fear of some high wind gust coming and ripping the thing off which probably won't happen but I'm gonna be nervous about that anyway also <clears throat> it's just like a giant wing you know even when it's down, if, if I'm in a situation with high winds, which I almost never will be because I don't go out in storms, but occasionally it's going to happen. Sometime I'm going to get caught in a storm. There's going to be high winds coming. This is going to create tons of lift. It may capsize the boat. Or even just rip off, like <clears throat> 40, 50 mile an hour wind with a thing this big. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a lot of force. Another thing is, it's got fairly significant uh, wind resistance just because it's got all these flanges along it, right? Along the bottom. So going through the water when I'm going forward, it's going to have a lot of wind resistance, which probably won't be a problem when I'm motoring. However, if I'm in the dark or whatever and I'm pedaling, you know, and I have a, a bad headwind, it may be a problem. So anyway, there are, there are all these issues. and. They're going to be real problems when I'm using the thing. So this morning, when I woke up, I just laid in bed and started thinking. Also, getting the sail up and down is, is going to be kind of, I don't know. Anyway, all these issues, I haven't been able to come up with a solution for these things while I've been working on the thing. So this morning I said, all right, brain, just, just forget everything you're doing right now. Just... Pretend you're designing this thing from scratch. What would you do? And, uh... First thing I thought was, Well, what if I don't use that sail? What will I do with it? Oh, it'll be an awesome shade cover. I can make a gazebo out of it. It'll definitely get some use. Um, so, okay. Don't worry about what I've built so far. Just just think of what, what will be the best thing. And, uh... I'm not going to go through all the crap I went through to get here. This is what I came up with. It took me a while to come up with this because if I change the solar panels to this orientation, they don't actually fit on the boat. They stick out past the edges. Like the original uh, 
way to do it was to have them like this. This is totally not to scale. But this is actually in real life a shorter distance than, than this because these aren't that long. They're like, you know. Anyway, so this sticks out past the edge of the boat if the solar panels are like this. Which is only a problem when I'm at a dock or going through somewhere that's skinny or whatever. So what if I mount the solar panels like that? And uh, this happens to solve like all of the problems. It takes away the sail option. Uh, however, I think I was. Tr I think keeping the sail option was causing more problems than it solves. Besides, if I go like this, I have all the standing room here, standing room here. I could put up a sail, a cloth sail, pretty easily. But I'm right now. I'm just gonna figure out the solar panel thing. All right, the ways this solves all the problems <clears throat> is I hard mount the middle row of solar panels and there will be two more up in the front there. This is longer than it's longer than this. So that means these ones are not hinged. They're just locked into place. They're mounted really solid. So they're not going to move. They're not going to rip off or anything. And I put a hinge here and a hinge here and I just mount the hinge at the top edge so that these can fold. And the way I do the fiberglass here is I taper it down to thin at this end. So when it goes like that, it's thin here so this one can fold on top of it. And I'll have to make sure the hinge can, you know, get around this edge or maybe move it out a little bit or it, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Now, <clears throat> doing that is going to be a lot easier than any of the other plans I have for covering the solar panels with sheets and stuff. This way, zoop, zoop, all the solar surfaces are covered. I just have to make sure this, this bottom surface is painted well and everything. I don't even need a cloth cover to cover the thing. I just close them up and that, they're, they're protected. Now, the other thing that, ha that this does, I mean, this, does a, this fixes so many things. <clears throat> it reduces the, the wind area. So if I'm just pedaling, I'm not going to have so much wind resistance because this is just going to be basically... Maybe not totally smooth surface, but it's not going to have those big flanges I needed to accommodate such a wide thing. <clears throat> I'll be able to put much, much more low profile flanges across here to keep this rigid. Now I think I'm going to have to make these flat, which is fine. Okay, another cool thing this does is say the sun is coming this way. See with the, the old sail style, I was just thinking I tilt the whole thing. And that's great, except it's kind of a pain in the butt to, to tilt something that big. And anyway, <clears throat> so this way I just tilt this one and that one toward the sun. So this is hard mounted. It doesn't move. I won't get any extra light on this one. However, the other two, there's going to be so many solar panels on this. Uh, that's going to make a big difference when the sun's coming in this way. Um, yeah, when I'm loading and unloading, like one of the one of the big issues I was having was when I get to town, how am I going to get everything onto the boat in a rush when I've got like idiots trying to like help me load and I'm like, no, no, don't touch anything, please don't touch anything. Oh, you broke something. So this way, do 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 do. Now I've got this much space on the boat that I can walk on, where I can load things more easily. And keep people away from my boat. This, this sounds stupid. Like, how, why do you have to keep people? No, seriously, you have to keep people away from your boat if you. Oh, they get so touchy and like want to break everything. <clears throat> Ooh, what's that boat? It's so interesting. Let me touch it and wreck it. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna make everything a lot easier. And then if I'm going through a skinny thing of mangroves or parked up against a dock with a post, yeah, just you know, just close those. It's safe. This. This solves so many problems. I think I think I have to do that. I'm still I gotta think about it though. There may be a problem with this that I haven't thought of, but it's in my brain it seems like it's pretty darn good. And these are gonna be real easy to move up and down because it's just such a small thing. It's not gonna weigh very much. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to have this solid the whole length of the thing because it'll be like a 20 foot, like a seven meter long thing that I tilt at once, or if I want to break it up into two sections, I think I could probably
probably do it all at once, but I don't know. Either way, this is, I think this is maybe what I want to do. It really protects those solar panels that are by far the most valuable items on the boat. These mounting parts still totally work because that's where the, the middle row of solar panels mounts. I'll have to put something back here and take out this mast. Well, I can probably use it for some of the parts. Oh, here's a, another kind of minor issue I didn't bring up, but peeing on the boat. It's nice to be able to stand up at the edge of the boat and pee. With the sail, it's going to, like, yeah. This way, you know, I'll just be able to tilt one thing up if I need to pee. Or, actually, <clears throat> the solar panels, since they're going to be wider, they're not going to go right to the front or the back of the boat. I'll still have space to stand up here and go pee while I'm driving. Or off the back. Oh, that's great. <clears> hmm. <throat> So if those are going to be one meter wide, I'm going to have something permanently there that still leaves me a pretty wide spot to stand. Yeah, and that'll be easy to load things and unload things. And I might have the whole solar panel thing put in with a, a pin and a pin there and one at the back so I could hypothetically remove it if I needed to. Although I don't want to make it too easy to get off. Maybe I'll just make it permanently attached because I don't want people to steal it. Yeah, I'll probably just make it really hard to get off. If I do that, one day when I will inevitably end up in a storm, hopefully no time soon, I can fold up the solar panels, reduce their wind area significantly so they're not lifting the boat out, out of the water or tearing off or something. And then just, you know, use batteries, motor, pedal, whatever, to get to some safe place. <sighs> Alright, how do I make this thing? It's not that complicated. Yeah, it's not that hard to make. I'll need to get, uh, some stuff. I need a sheet of plywood. It's not super thick, but kind of thick, because I'm going to need these things to be real flat when I make them. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to work on this at all today. I'm just going to put it in my brain that this is what I'm doing and think about it and see if any problems come up. And you know, all the, all the problems with the, the last thing were there in my head from the beginning. I was just kind of hoping some ideas would come up that would solve them. And uh, I guess one of the, the issues was when I came up with the idea for the, the sails, I didn't think I was going to be able to cover them all with solar panels. <clears throat> and then I then it became possible, and I was like, whoa. But yeah, because I can get all the solar panels, they're going to become the more much more useful um, energy system on the boat. So I'd rather make things more conducive to that than the sails. And yeah, like I said before, I, I'll, I'm gonna have all that, all that space now. With, when those are fold, folded up, I could throw up a mast and put up a sail. But that's that's something to worry about later. Um, yeah, this shouldn't be that hard to make. I need some more fiberglass. Well, some more resin. I have plenty of fiberglass. Oh, Deshane is gonna be so excited that she's getting that freaking sail as a gazebo shade area. I know I already did a bunch of work on the other thing. However, I'm feeling kind of good right now. Like I was going down the wrong path and painting myself into a corner. And now I might not be. <laughs>